All right, the doll here in Australia, how do we fix it? Now, Jenny Macklin got herself in all sorts of trouble a couple of weeks ago when she said that she could live on $35 a day, probably without really thinking that 35 bucks a day only adds up to $10,000 per annum. And the doll has all sorts of problems. Some people just sit around doing nothing on it. Others find it a disincentive to go back to work because as they start earning money, they lose their entitlements to the doll and in some cases can actually end up worse off even after they start working and earning cash. So I've been thinking about this, and here's my somewhat radical idea to fix Australia's doll. Now, firstly, we've got to set it at a level which guarantees a minimum standard of living. And by this, I mean you should be able to rent a very modest flat in a small, maybe provincial city in Australia. You should have enough money to eat reasonably well, to have a basic level of clothing, and indeed to pay for your utilities. And in fact, utilities these days probably include access to the internet. I've done some numbers, and I reckon the doll would have to be lifted from around about 10 grand per annum at the moment to 20 to $25,000. Secondly, I think that what sort of amounts to a decent standard of living should be reassessed by an independent body every couple of years. So you'd have some independent people who sit around and say, well, how much does it cost to rent a flat? What, how much do you need to spend on clothes each year? But here's the really radical thing that I'd do to fix the doll. I would pay it to every single adult Australian, irrespective of how much money they have. Now, you might say, why do that? The, the doll is only there to help poor people. Well, yes and no. What I want to do here is make sure that everybody has a minimum standard of living, no matter what they do. And by giving the doll to everybody, you stop people trying to make themselves eligible for it or try to prevent them from losing their eligibility. So you give the doll to everybody. The moment they turn 18, irrespective of how much money they earn, the government pays every adult Australian twenty to $25,000 per annum. But in return for this, you get rid of just about all the other aspects of the welfare system. So you get rid of the baby bonus. You get rid of family tax benefits. You get rid of school bonuses. You get rid of the age pension because you'll be paying them this minimum standard of living no matter what. So you, 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 you get rid of almost all forms of different welfare. You just have one standard level of dole that gets paid to everybody. And all of a sudden, you've got a very, very simple welfare system. How do we pay for all this? Well, above the doll, every single dollar you earn from that twenty to twenty-five thousand dollar mark that you earn working uh, yourself, you get taxed. There's no tax-free threshold anymore. You just get taxed on every dollar you earn. You keep the doll that the government gives you, but you get taxed on every additional dollar, and that pays so that everybody gets it. And what are the benefits of this? Well, we've got no more bloated welfare bureaucracy. We've got no more begging. Everybody should have enough, and if they don't, it'll be their own fault. We have no disincentive to work. I mean, no one with half an ounce of talent is going to sit around doing nothing for $20,000 a year. If you want to have kids, there'll be no more baby bonus, but that's fine. I mean, if you have kids, that's your choice, and you should pay for it. And as a parent, I can tell you, you do pay for having children, but that is the individual's choice. You still have disability and medical welfare. That stays in place for people who have fallen on hard times with regards to their health. And overall, the system is very simple. You get rid of all those thousands of bureaucrats Democrats in Canberra and in various state bureaucracies that only exist to decide who should get money and who hands it out.